This is the UK's number one reseller of and specialist of designer handbags and vintage bags. And tonight's show is quite special because, as you can see, it looks quite different tonight. I'm on my own. I'm also in Italy. This is my vintage power hour. And um, you've actually... Um, joining me on my current uh, sourcing trip and so in tonight's show if you are a fan of vintage so you must stay on the next hour and a half because I'll be showing you a sneak peek of some of the pieces that I have sourced so far and which are available to purchase during this live show and I might even show you if have got some time some future bits that we're going to be dropping when I get back to London so do stay tuned now how it works if you've no, don't, no idea how you shop and watch uh, it's very very, very simple and very fun process as I pick an item I'll be describing it trying it on I even measure it I'll show you the condition and it's very much an interactive show so all you need to do um, is to take take part feel free to ask me a question and also remember to ask the community in the comments box below um, all these uh, lovely ladies who watch our show as well as men have great give great bag advice and we also take, um, uh, uh, sorry, and as the items appear, the product card, which is the bag icon or the product icon, will appear on your top left-hand corner. And all you need to do is just tap on that icon if you want to purchase and add to cart. It is that simple. It is so, so simple. It is too simple, almost. We also take all major forms of credit and debit cards, as well as split it. We offer split it, which is an easy way to spread um, those monthly luxury uh, costs uh, uh, available only on um, t uh, credit cards and on three, six, nine and 12 month plans and it's interest free as well. And we ship worldwide, uh, uh, 10 pounds to the UK, 15 pounds to Europe and 20, uh, 35 pounds to the rest of the world, which include USA, uh, Asia and Australia as well. Hello Lily, hello DD. who else is joining us? Hello Rachel, missed you! <laughs> and also a great thing, during our live show, but thank you for reminding me Rachel, all the duties are covered during and taxes are covered during the live show. So it's a really much an easy, interactive and um, very easy way to shop. So, hello Nadia. So, let's get started. I'm sure you have been dying. I've been traveling now for about four days and I have um, saw some amazing uh, vintage. And um, let's ease you in. So, one of our lovely classics that everyone loves and always flies out. I saw this on my trip. It is a classic uh, vintage Dior oblique clutch. Um, hello Carla. Hello, Texas. <laughs> Hello, Denise. Oh, lots of regulars here. And if you're new to the show, do say hi and everyone will welcome you as well. So back to this product. This is a vintage Dior oblique bag. Um, it's got a, a brass tone gold hardware with a classic CD logo. And this one is very vintage. It's going back to, I would say, 70s. Um, they've become very popular. Um, especially when the vintage versions, but so popular that even Dior have, for the past couple of seasons have reissued this Dior oblique, oblique uh, print, which was first designed, I believe, in 1956, but didn't actually make it into production until 1962. So this is the burgundy colorway. It's a good, I would say, equivalent to an 11 inches. So it's a good day clutch. It has... Um, very, it's been well looked after considering it's almost 50 years old. Um, the canvas is in good clean condition, uh, just minimal wear to the corners and the edges of the clutch. The back, uh, the back is nice and clean. There's no um, transfer. There is no moth damage. It's been well really looked after. And even the gold tone hardware is also in excellent condition. I would say it's a really good oversized day clutch. And I just love the oversized CD um, hardware as well. So we'll look, take a look inside. Uh, the good condition continues throughout. It's nice and clean. And I just love the old school Dior logo inside. Now this clutch is now is up. 
and it's 395 pounds which is 516 us dollars um it is a great price um uh, especially for a vintage classic and um go ahead you just tap on that icon i'll just show the condition one more time it's in really good condition i just love that burgundy trim along the edges so it's available there another great clutch while we're in italy i think most of our things are made in italy hence italy has a long tradition of leather craftsmen that go back to um i don't know Leonardo da Vinci's time we're talking about the 15th 14th century so it's ingrained in their heritage so um so that's why the make the most uh all leather um especially all major fashion brands have their bags made in um Italy France Spain and even Portugal are also really well uh, known for their saddlery and leather wear even Hungary actually is, is very good for leather wear as well so something cute it is a Tom Ford era little wristlet um, featuring the Guccissima print. It's a canvas print. Sorry, let me just get a little bit of that there. Uh, it's what's really nice. It features the red and green webbing, a uh, little bow detail. And what's interesting, the red and green bow detail, this webbed fabric only came about um, post Second World War where the lack of uh, materials was available. So they, uh, Gucci was ahead of its time trying to think of ways that could be as good as other leathers and other metal wear webbing, um, this cotton webbing is very, very durable. It's almost, it's used in, in the army as, as well as bamboo. It's also a very durable and hard wearing um, hardware as well. So um, this is a cute little wristlet with a leather um, strap. It's not detachable, so it, it is attached on. And um, wristlets are quite good because it's actually good for security. You can put them around your uh, wrist and um, you're off you go. I think this is a sort of little pouch bag that is great when you're out and about. Um, if you've got to run to the shops, um, it can carry, I definitely would say up to a 13 Pro Max because it's a, a, a good eight inch size and, and depth wise, it's like about four or five inches. So you can carry a wallet, um, your iPhone, lipstick, keys, everything you need when you're run out, running out to do errands. So this one's also in very good clean condition and it's a zip top opening, which is handy and it's nice and clean inside. And this is only 250 pounds. Thank you, Sandy. I thought I'll ease you in before I get the big guns out. I've got this one. This is my favorite at the moment. So um, it's 250 pounds, which is 327 US dollars. And remember guys, if you're shopping from outside the EU, if you're shopping from the US, Canada or Asia, we, are, we also include your customs and duty. So it's only one price. All you have to do is just add the shipping. Um, oh great, Lou has uh, received her Chanel GST this weekend. It is an amazing condition. Like I said, um, any advice on which leather cream to use on Chanel Caviar? I would buy um, Lou, I would um, uh, look up, do a little bit of research, but specific, specifically balms for leather wear. Uh, remember leather is a skin. And like our skin, it gets dehydrated. It needs a little bit of cream, um, anything natural, nothing with uh, alcohol. Do not use hand sanitizer because that's got alcohol and that will dry up the skin. So anything with a natural balm, which should um, in, uh, sort of look after leather. I su suggest beeswax because it's quite good. Um, it's very um, non-offensive and it would bring the luster back in the leather. I hope that helps. So the wristlet is up and all you need to do is just tap on that icon. Gosh, I haven't done a show on my own for ages. I feel a bit lost. <laughs> I might have to talk to an invisible person here. <laughs> uh, ciao, bellissima. Ciao, grazie. That's all like, the two words I can say so far. <laughs> and Gucci. Where's, where is Gucci <laughs> when I'm walking around Milan? <laughs> so there are two great things that we have just popped up. Um, let's do some jewellery. <coughs> Whilst on my travels, um, I came across some incredible vintage jewellery and one of the pieces I absolutely loved. I saw it and I thought I've got to have it. 
is this. This is a vintage Chanel um, bracelet. But what's really special about this bracelet, it features one, two, three, four, five wax seals. They're like faux wax seals. And why is that? It's because <coughs> apparently Coco Chanel used to write um, her personal letters and um, she would actually sign a seal with her own initials on them. So that plays homage to her personal writing um, desk. Uh, this is a T-bar um, closure bracelet. It is stunning. I know this is really well. I've only ever seen this in magazines. Um, so to hold it in my hand is amazing. And the lady who sold me this was equivalent to my equivalent of Sabrina's American French, uh, the American collector. This Italian lady has been, she actually bought this in 1984. She has an incredible collection of Chanel. And she, I mean, she was there, there trying to sell, but she ended up keeping most of it. I've only, had, I only had, uh, bought two bits off her because I think a lot of like collectors, um, it just evokes memories. So um, this came from her personal collection and it's incredibly well looked after, has that 24 karat gold gilding. And I just love the fact it's, um, you know, it goes back to Coco Chanel's letter writing days where she would sign her own personal letters with a wax seal. So there you go to show you the condition. Um, I would say the lozenges are around about uh, an inch wide, so it's a good statement piece. Um, it's lovely and weighty. I'm a size 16 centimeter wrist, or 16 centimeter watch wrist, so that is the standard sizing. Uh, this is from the collection 23, so it's from 1984. The bracelet is up, it is 2,100 pounds, or 2,747 US dollars and it is just there. It, um, it's bracelet only, uh, <coughs> only, and we will provide you with a complimentary Luxury Promise dust bag and box. So from the same lady who collected the Chanel, one, another item I was able to prize out of her hands before she locked away all her other bits was this uh, medallion um, style um, necklace, which I know you guys love. This is just a stunning piece. Um, you can actually, it's a really long style necklace and you can actually, let me just take the tag off. You can actually wear this as a belt as well as a um, necklace. And she told me that she wore it both ways. And being very European, even though they drink wine and eat prosciutto every time, uh, they are slim. So uh, I can imagine how gorgeous she looked at the time. So this is in stunning condition. This is the popular and rare sunburst, but this is the, the mega size, the statement size. This is about five centimeters or two and a half inches across, and it's in excellent condition. Um, it's from the 1980s, and look at that Rolo chain, which is stunning. There's no tarnish. I'll just put it on for myself. You can wear it single like this. The drop is quite long, it's about 42 centimeter, uh, 41 centimeters, which is roughly, I think, around about 20 inches. Or you can wear it doubled up, and you can wear this, imagine doubled up, you can wear this as a, um, as a high choker. I think actually it'd look quite nice as a high choker like this as well. And because it has a special lobster clasp, you can also wear this as a belt as well. So let me see. If I can put this around my belt, my waist. Yes, I can. I can't believe it. I've just been drinking, eating nuts and water this past couple of days. I've just been on the road and been so busy. So you can wear it as a belt as well. So um, lots of different ways of wearing this. Um, so absolutely stunning. It, it, yes, I'm so obsessed. So amazing, amazing piece. So it does, yeah, I know Beverly, it looks amazing as a belt. Um, it is really, really beautiful. So it's like I said, it's 24 karat gold gilding, uh, original chain, no tarnish, uh, original gilding. And it uh, <coughs> does not come with box, but we'll provide you with a complimentary luxury promise dust, uh, dust bag and box. And this is up now for £1,895, which is 2700 
2,479 US dollars. So um, if you guys can see, there's quite a few people just jumped on. Yes, quite a few people just jumped on. Uh, I am Winnie from Luxury Promise. Uh, I'm the commercial director. I'm also a vintage specialist. And this is actually a very special show because this is my vintage power hour. Because the past couple of days, I have been traveling up and down Italy, um, sourcing vintage. And tonight's show, I'm just gonna be showing a showcase, just a sprinkling of some of the pieces that I have sourced exclusively for you guys and it can, and it's exclusively purchasable during this live show so once this live show is off it will not be available to purchase so if you want to grab yourself a vintage statement piece stay on for the next hour and um, if you are um, watching from outside, we're cover currently covering all customs and duties. So if you're from the US and Asia and Australia, we're covering all your customs and duties. So all the, pri the price you see is the price you pay, um, except for you have to add on shipping. Shipping is, uh, UK is 10 pounds, uh, Europe is 15, and overseas is 35 pounds. So, oh yes. Someone said, can you try on the red shirt? I was going to hold back, but why not? Let's just do it. So, I love this story. I got to my vintage appointment one hour before, and it was in the window. And I was staring at it. I was like, I was manifesting. I'm going to get that jacket, get that jacket. And I did. I just saw it. It's one of those things where I was walking past. I was like, and I had to have this jacket. That's how I feel about Ch Chanel. This is a beautiful 1980s Chanel jacket. And what's nice about this, it's actually a straight fitting jacket. However, the fabric is a stretch wool boucle. And look at the buttons. These are original 24 karat gold gilded buttons and these are around about an inch wide. So they're huge buttons. And they pay homage to the, inter, um, to the chain details on the um, uh, jack uh, on the bags <coughs> and there's one two three four five buttons it's it's a single breasted with two pockets and it also comes with um, the um, hanger as well so the reason why <coughs> this uh, jacket excuse me i'll be getting over a cough so um, i may be spluttering once in a while um I just knew that this jacket would fit me. <coughs> For those who watch this show, you know that most vintage Chanel jackets are very, very tiny. So um, this one, even though the label is lost, but I reckon it was an EU 36, um, because it has stretch in the fabric, I'm a UK 12 and it fits me just fine. I'm able to actually fully button up this jacket. It is gorgeous oh thank you um look at the buttons it is absolutely it's in wonderful condition and what's nice about it, it's quite wide sleeve so if you don't want things too tight well sometimes uh, chanel jackets can be this has got plenty of room and because it has a stretch in it it's forgiving for all sizes so i would say this jacket would fit up to uh, a uk 8 all the way to a 12 or in us would be a 4 to an 8 a us 4 to an 8 it is fairly long as well but well, that's what i also liked about this jacket it is the shoulder drop to hem is roughly 63 centimeters so it covers the, the tushy if you don't want to show your bum so it is stunning. What do you guys think? I just absolutely love this jacket. And if this doesn't sell by the end of the evening, I'm considering, very much considering, purchasing, purchasing this jacket. And I think Chanel jackets are just a good investment as a Chanel uh, classic flat bag because they never date. These jackets never date. And if you were to buy a Chanel jacket now, they are in upwards of £6,000. So this jacket's only £1,995, £1, uh, which is 2,610 US dollars. Let me just quickly twirl around. Isn't it beautiful? I just absolutely love it. I know, I can't. If I keep my fine, I won't have a job. <laughs> 
And when I used to have my own business, I couldn't keep everything, otherwise I don't have a business. So, uh, <coughs> just want to show you the label. <coughs> so, that's available now. If you just tap on the icon, it could be yours. <coughs> or mine. <laughs> so, the Prada bag. Yes, yes, of course. Well spotted. This is a really fun Prada bag. At the moment, Prada, pra uh, I'm in the country where Prada is where it came from, basically. So um, this is a 90s, 90s uh, Prada nylon bag. And what's nice about this, we often show a lot of black uh, nylon bags, which are backpacks or the, you know, the messenger style bags. But what I love about this, which caught my eye, was the green khaki, but the Prada logo is all embroidered. It's all beaded. Look at that beautiful beading. And, and what's nice about this bag, it has a contrasting mock python um, leather strap, but it has the nylon on the other side. So this is a 1990s piece. It just shows it's overall in good condition. It has, oh, there we go. Um, gentle signs of wear. Sorry, let me just get that for you. Yeah, it's gone now. Gentle signs of use along the corners and the bag, back of the bag. And what's nice about this bag, it's got a nice drop. So this is actually ideal for um, over the shoulder wear. Could you wear it crossbody? Yeah, you could wear it as a high cross. Um, also, this bag is a zipper opening bag as well. So, um, and I would say you could, it's a, I don't think you can fit a laptop in there. It is roughly, let me just get the measuring tape out. It is roughly, <clears throat> about <coughs> 30, uh, 13 inches wide and nine inches high. So um, it would fit your iPad, wallet, your latest phone, book, uh, lunch box maybe. I would say this is a really good work bag, an everyday bag. Uh, let me just show you the condition on it. It is used, it has been used, but generally the condition is nice and clean. The price is up, it's only £495, which is the 647 US dollars. Inside it's nice and clean and it includes an interior zip pocket and it's available there. So if you tap on the icon, it will take you over to the website and you can add to cart if it's, if it's something you're willing to purchase. <coughs> I saw that somebody was asking about the gold Chanel. Um, which gold Chanel, Wendy? Because I could do another jewellery. Oh, let's do this. Ready? Isn't that gorgeous? At first glance, I thought it was vintage, but it isn't. It's actually from the 2020 collection, and it's a re-edition of a vintage version, version from the 1980s. But, but what's nice about this, this is a big size. I think this, the re-edition ver version is much smaller, but look how big and statement size is that brooch it's gorgeous isn't it um it's from the 2020 collection um it's in excellent condition it's box it's the brooch only it does not come with box but we will provide you with a complimentary uh, dust bag and luxury promise um box it let me just put that on i would say this is about five centimeters across which is two and a half inches wide and two and a half inches high as well so it's a good statement size let me just put this on so you can see isn't that gorgeous i think brooches are one of those pieces that um can <clears throat> really transform an outfit a simple brooch can transform a rather you know an everyday doll outfit um you know trans you know these would look great on a denim jacket or blazer even fun on a hat um, 
I just want to show you what it looks like on this Chanel jacket. How gorgeous is that? It is gorgeous, absolutely wonderful. And I'll just show the condition one more time. Excellent, gold gilded, signed 2020 Chanel with no tarnish. Uh, hello, Erica. Hope that's my friend, Erica. <laughs> oh, hello, Sabrina. Sabrina's back. Miss you, Sabrina. So the price will be going up shortly, but how wonderful is this piece? There it is. It is £725, which is 948 US dollars, and it's available to uh, purchase. All you need to do is just tap on that icon and it could be yours. So that's one piece. Um, another great Chanel piece. Actually, all these uh, latest pieces, um, the next two pieces actually came from the, uh, another collector. And um, surprisingly, these are modern pieces. This is, I think, is the 2019 collection and look at what it says can you see what it spells out chanel how gorgeous is that oh. so it's a stylized um signature of chanel in lowercase and it's a choker style uh necklace let me just quickly put it on and you can see and, and the letters have uh, rhinestones all intact and it is just absolutely gorgeous. It features a lobster clasp and it's a really, really beautiful um, statement piece. And um, it's one of those pieces that, I know it's costume jewelry, but it is, um, it is just absolutely stunning and the quality is amazing. You can see the Chanel all the rhinestones are intact and um, I hope it spells out Chanel for you I feel like that movie you know the scene with uh, Amanda Seyfried in um, uh, Mean Girls where she spells her name but backwards <laughs> I, I was trying to work out if it, if it actually because I'm you know using because I'm mirror, doing the mirror version on here to me it, it spells like it spells Chanel backwards but I hope you guys see it in the correct way <laughs> I hope you know what I mean <laughs> so let me just see there's a bit of a a light feedback here that's better you can see now how gorgeous those letters spell, spell. <clears throat> and um, this is a lobster clasp and it's a high choker and I think it's the sort of thing that would also look great with this jacket imagine if you're wearing this jacket how chic that would look on you so this brace, <laughs> sorry, this necklace is £1,995, which is, um, I think there must be a digit missing, 2000, must be 2948 US dollars. Oops. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, if you like the look of that um, necklace, it's available just there. It's 2700 and, uh, 2,479 US dollars. So the next one is also from the same collector. It's also a modern piece. Um, I can't remember if this is 2019 or 2020. It's a long sautoir style necklace with a classic CC in the logo. However, what's fun about this one is the faux pearls, these are glass faux pearls, they actually spell out Chanel. No, they keep twisting around. They say they set the pearls individually say Chanel, and there's a CC logo, 
and then, and then the motif repeats again. Features a CC rhinestone. This is also in excellent condition. The enamel on the faux pearls has not faded or chipped. Lobster class with a CC little um, logo on the neck and it is in wonderful condition as well. And all the rhinestones are intact, nothing has fallen out. And I just love the fact all the pearls spell out Chanel. Can you see? Isn't that just a fun, beautiful piece? Um, it's quite nice because it's like a fresh modern take on the classic pearl CC pearls, which everyone has. Uh, whereas this one, it just is slightly different. Show it one more time, oops. And just look at that CC detail. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, really? Splash of Sambuca? Oh, I might end up having that every day. <laughs> might have to have to give that a go. Anybody else has got any cough uh, uh, remedies, please do let me know. It's worse at night time. Um, I know honey and lemon is also good, which my mum tells me. <laughs> so uh, this is good. Love this, Lou says. I bought a similar one from LP with stars. Yes, I remember. And it came with the box. So this is also £1,895, which is £2,479. US dollars. And you know what? I'm going to keep it on duration of the show because it is such a gorgeous piece. And like Lou says, she gets lots of compliments. And I do think things like a good quality Chanel necklace, a good quality jacket, you know, invest in one Chanel, preferably a Chanel classic flat bag. They're timeless pieces. They will never, never date. And it's one of those pieces, like you can always go to them. If you need a posh outfit for a event, you know that these ones, um, it's, uh, in terms of cost per wear, it will pay off. Um, Fatima saying, I've read a lot about how vintage Chanel, in particular in bags, are going up in value. Are they still worth investing in? Yes, I do. So anybody who does economics here, uh, basically, vintage is like inflation. Uh, these vintage pieces are no longer in production. They're all one of a kind. And as long as the quality is um, good, it's well looked, looked after, the demand still has, the, the style still has commercial value, like a classic Pearl and CC, the value could only go up because there's limited uh, supply. And like with inflation, uh, uh, demand always outstrips supply hence it will go up so yes it is worth it I have been dealing I'll tell you something when I started doing vintage Chanel selling vintage Chanel this is going back to 2007 when I first uh, sold uh, hunted down a bag and sold it back then classic flat bags cost me as a small vendor 500 pounds can you believe it? 500 pounds nowadays will get me a little wallet or a keychain. And I remember almost crying because that was my life savings, is like investing in one bag. And I remember one client squeezed 700 pounds off me and I felt heartbroken. So uh, now a vintage classic flap, uh, if we were to buy in, uh, we will buy them in anywhere between two and a half to three and a half thousand pounds. So, and plus they keep going up. So that is why it is worth investing in a vintage. Um, according to Bag Hunter, who's a well-respected blogger, uh, Chanel and Hermes are better investments than the, uh, the top 500 um, FTSE index companies. Because when it comes to, I don't know of anybody who's a trader here, financial trader, what do we like to invest in is steady, and um, reputable brands. So there you go. Um, uh, I think that's how you, that's my uh, economics 101. <laughs> so yes, you can't go wrong investing in vintage Chanel. <laughs> so let's move on to, somebody was requesting this bag. <clears throat> 
a Chanel. This is the Chanel Mademoiselle caviar skin bag. I saw this and I was like, I was running around trying to see all my clients and this one was at, at the end of the at the end of my appointment i kept, kept having my eye on it i'm just like please don't 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 be sold don't be sold don't be sold and it was there waiting for me after six hours of me being away um what i love about this what caught my eye is the mademoiselle caviar skin in dark chocolate brown but it is vertical striping Normally we, um, sorry, horizontal striping. Normally we get the vertical striping. The only ever time I've seen a vertical striping is in, I think they produced this in Jersey fabric, uh, which my sister bought off me years ago. I'm hoping that she'll give it back to me one day. So this was really, really exciting. And I love the fact that it's dark chocolate brown, vertical, um, uh, stri uh, sorry, horizontal quilting, and it's caviar skiing with the 24 karat gold gilding and it is just lovely really really lovely so it does have uh, some scuffing minor scuffing to the corners of the bag but generally the bottom is nice and clean and there's another scuffing there the back is excellent and there's <coughs> just a little bit of wear along the where where it's been handled but it's very very minor you have to come up close to see it generally the gold gilding is very very good and it has a double chain and um, i actually love this size this is the jumbo size this is exactly 12 inches across so you've got the maxi and then it comes to jumbo and then it comes to the 10 inch so this jumbo is in between the 10 inch and the maxi size and i think is actually the perfect day size i would personally wear it as a uh, over the shoulder bag but the chain is long enough to wear it as a crossbody style bag as well um what i do is because uh, the chain is quite long depending on how tall you are um i actually leave a little overhang at the top so you kind of got a little top handle like so you've got a little top handle there and because the chain is so chunky it can hold its um its length i would actually uh, maybe tie a little knot underneath if you want to wear it as a crossbody style bag lovely condition inside <clears throat> it is nice and clean it's serial sticker only um uh, no no uh, dust bag or, uh, or card but we will provide you with a luxury promise dust bag and i believe this is either three or four series so and i think this may have sold uh if you could confirm that rachel that would be great hello natalie oh five nine nine five oh maybe no it hasn't sold yet oh there it is still available five thousand nine hundred and ninety five pounds there you go it's available to purchase right now and i actually think that is a very very well priced bag for something that you you can't find this on the market so it's 5995 pounds oh has it sold it has sold oh my gosh it's not sold <laughs> oh i have no idea anyway Everyone's saying it's sold. It has sold. Wow. Who bought it? Let me know if you want to make yourself known. Um, if not, congratulations. You have bought a really wonderful piece. And remember, I actually nearly could not get my hands on this because my appointments were running late. And this was my last bag purchase of the day. Um, I had been shopping since 7am yesterday. So... Um, but I knew I, knew I knew I had to have it. So congratulations, it is a breathtaking bag. So <clears throat> let me do something that's quite fun. Um, let's do this one. Now, being in Italy, home of Fendi, this one actually has an amazing story. Um, the uh, dealer was telling me about these um, custom-made Fendi Sucre. These are briefcases. 
and this is from 1970s and it actually was made from the um, atelier in Rome uh, and this was a custom made piece for a VIP customer and did you know that the Zucker print was designed by Karl Lagerfeld in 1965 so it's only been a couple of years that this design has been around so you could say this is the early first generation of the FF uh, Zucker print which is amazing and um, it's just and because it, it's it's handcrafted so the way everything you see is hand done and this is actually made of wood uh, I think I can't remember what kind of wood it is and it still has a fully functioning uh, clasp with its original key and it still locks and if you open up inside it's like a proper attache, attache with a suede lining and as it was hand done everything was hand stamped and you can see the way the craftsman has just stamped Fendi Roma made in Italy it is gorgeous I absolutely love pieces like this it reminds me I love anything to do with trunks or leatherware and the fact that it came from the Rome Atelier hand done shortly the print was shortly designed by um, not long after Karl Lagerfeld had designed this so he dates this sort of late 60s to um, 1970s it is a vintage piece you're talking about this is almost 50 years old it has some signs of wear but I actually love it imagine the deals this guy must have made on his um, when he took this to work and I must say the Italian men around here they dress imagine Laura Piana that's all they wear Laura Piana and I was just walking around in my trainers so I must have looked so scotty but um, it's got this beautiful sucker print with leather trims and like I said, it is absolutely beautiful inside. It has a little um, little um, slip pocket inside so you can put paperwork or your pens. And it is just stunning. And it still has a fully functioning lock with the key as well. <coughs> yeah. Yes, it is pop. It is like a proper valet. That's, cor that's correct. Let me just hold it. And if you don't, oh, it's up now. <coughs> this price is seven hundred ninety-five pounds, or one thousand and forty US dollars, and it's available to purchase. I mean, even if you don't, um, I would, for me personally, I, I actually buy these sort of things to actually put on display on a bookcase because I think they make very nice interior decorative items. Imagine on the bookcase or on a coffee table and you could stack your coffee books on top and imagine the conversation pieces when people, your friends coming around and they're like, is that a Fendi briefcase? So I think um, for me, they are just make great decorative items. It is really, is Lucy, a um, true collector's piece. So it is £795 and $1,040 US dollars, and it's available there. And you just tap on that icon. Wow, we have almost 150 people on, on a Friday, on a Monday, more, Monday afternoon, beginning of the week. And if you have just joined, I am Winnie. I'm the commercial director at Luxury Promise. I'm also a vintage freak. I just love anything vintage. And this is a very special live. This is uh, my power hour vintage live where I'm actually uh, filming whilst I'm, uh, I'm doing my live whilst I'm on my sourcing trip. Um, sourcing trip in Italy and tonight in the next hour I'm just showcasing some of a sneak peek uh, of some of the, my favorite pieces I have sourced so far and they are available to purchase only during while the uh, uh, live is on so and if you are shopping from outside the UK and Europe from the US Canada or Asia or Australia we are covering your customs and duties uh, so the price you see is the price you pay the only thing you need to add on is your shipping we ship worldwide uh, 10 pounds for Europe uh, UK 15 pounds for Europe and 35 pounds for the USA as well and um, and also 
if you want to see, if you've just joined a bit late and you're worried that you've missed out a few things, we've only just started showcasing a few things, you can actually tap on the handbag icon just below here and you can just see what we have showcased so far. And remember, this is a very much an interactive show. Please feel free to ask me questions or the community any questions. Um, I will be happy to ask. <laughs> yeah, support the freaks, me. I think we have sold something else, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, oh, hello, hello, Daniela. Hi, Winnie. Why are these pieces only available during the live show? It's because um, I will take them back to London. Uh, anything not sold, we'll take them back to London and we'll get them professionally shot. Uh, that's why. Um, however, it's only a small, a small power hour, so it's like a sneak peek of um, what's coming up and there will be more and if I've got time I'm going to show you future drops or future items that I'll be uh, uh, listing in my future shows so uh, I don't have any Coco Crush chain bags that is a modern piece this is vintage <laughs> so keep an eye out on our future shows uh, oh who bought somebody said congrats congrats to what oh Oh, somebody bought the Fendi! Oh, amazing! I knew it! I just love it! I hope you were able, uh, Nab, I hope you were able to hear my story, how it all came about. It came from the uh, Roma, uh, Fendi Roma Atelier, handmade for a VIP customer, uh, 1965 to 1970s. So, um, <laughs> right, another case because th this vintage specialist, he was he was a specialist in beauty cases. Um, I want to showcase. I absolutely love this, and the price on this is great. If you love travel cases, this is a Gucci travel case, and this is a Gucci beauty case, and this is from 1950s to 1960s. It's crafted from um, navy uh, calf leather. What I like about this, it's very, very discreet. It's also a custom made um, for a VIP client. It is vintage, so there are some signs of wear. However, the lock still works. So I'll open it up. I just can't wait to show you the inside. How beautiful is that? Lovely and clean. It has these little um, leather straps in there so you can adjust the loops so you can you can actually store upright bottles. These were actually designed for the so this is fifties and sixties. So this is the start of jet set travel for um, for um, sort of like uh, short haul flights around the continent. But still, um, train travel like going on the Orient Express was still very very popular. That was more the choice um, as the fifties and sixties, the golden air, the golden time of air travel flight paths was beginning to like there were more choices to fly to but really in Europe it's just flying around the continent um, and how we know the, the um, date of this can you see the Gucci if it's a little crest almost like a knight that was produced or stamped during the 50s and 60s so if you ever see those these classic ones you know, you can date it to the 50s and 60s. Um, it has, these are still fully functioning locks and it still has its key still, which I can't believe. This is going back almost 70 years. It still has its key and it still works. Um, it's, um, oh, it's lined in canvas and it's in excellent clean condition. It's a really um, deep, so you could definitely put your travel to normal sort of 200 mil bottles in there and it is just lovely. It has these little tiny feet, which keeps the box upright. There are some gentle signs of wear and use, but it's probably because this was taken on holidays all around the continent. Maybe down to Capri, who knows? And it has a little top handle as well. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And like I said before, um, these actually, I think, make great interior decorative items. Imagine putting that on a bookshelf. You can actually store, you know, important paperwork, your books inside. And um, it just, it's just a very elegant 
an item to have in your living room or you can have it on your coffee table as well um, so this beauty case is only 650 pounds which is 850 US dollars and it's available there for you to purchase all you need to do is just tap on that icon and I'll just quickly show the condition one more time it is a used travel beauty case from the 1960s it could be it's up to 70 years old 60 to 70 years old and um, I think it's a very elegant piece and with lots and lots of history um, and definitely a conversation starter so there's that so more uh, as we're in Italy more Gucci and this is beautiful Abs I saw this and I absolutely fell in love with it um, this is a 1950s original design, the first generation of the bamboo top handle. And I've noticed, because I was walking in Gucci earlier on, they have actually re-editioned this style and they've done this really little mini cute one. So, so, so adorable. So I would say this is <coughs> a classic iconic design now featuring <coughs> the bamboo hardware with a turnstile lock. And the bamboo hardware <coughs> came about, let me just take a quick drink of water. Sandy's saying, can I? Yes, we'll do the Chanel afterwards, Sandy. The bamboo came about um, during post Second World War, where there was a lack of um, materials and um, key resources to make handbags, especially metalware. So um, Gucci uh, and his team of artisans um, found a way of, if you heat molded the bamboo, it became very strong and sturdy. And, um, and it's stuck ever since. It's actually part of their iconic design range. Um, this is a, a really lovely bag. It is used, it is from the 1950s. Uh, what's nice about this, which I've never seen before, if you look at it, it had the exterior is made from a straw matting and it's very very similar i don't know if anybody does millin millinery here very similar to um what they use in hat making so it has this beautiful it's almost like a tatami straw mat maybe it also came from japan because the bamboo came from japan it could be um it does actually make sense because straw would have been a very easy um resource and plentiful post second world war um a, a, a way of you know getting a hold of this material uh, i just love that beige color and it is offset almost like a color cray leather it has uh, a slight bubbling here but overall the gen it, it's in good clean condition um a little mark there turnstile lock and nice and clean inside there is a little bit of pen mark has an extra pocket inside so there and i'll just show you to scale this is equivalent to 10 inches so i would say it's almost like the size of a medium classic flat bag it does not come with a strap it's handheld only and um it's just the perfect little day bag uh, if you've got any upcoming weddings uh, or christenings, this would be a great, um, I think, a great, you know, a, a company item to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is only four hundred and ninety-five pounds, which is six hundred and forty-seven US dollars. So, a great affordable piece, and you're getting this. The, and remember, this is the original vintage. This is the first generation of the uh, bamboo uh, top handle bag from the 1950s stroke 1960s. Absolutely stunning. So somebody wanted to see the Chanel on the bottom shelf. And we have a Chanel backpack. This is gorgeous. And I've noticed, has anyone seen the recent, uh, I think it's the 2022 collection, no, 23 collection of Chanel? They have reprised this design, actually. They slightly modified the shape, 
but it's definitely based on this original vintage version. So it's a really fun piece because it's based on the Chanel Classic flat, but as a backpack. And um, this one, I know with the evening here, and probably the light doesn't do it justice. This is actually navy, it's dark navy. And how do you know, if you actually look closely at the stitching, it's actually navy. So that's how you know the original color. So by looking at the stitching, the stitching uh, is often matching to the leather base. This is in great condition, featuring the 24 karat gold gilding. Um, just gentle signs of wear along the corners of the bag. Lovely and clean. No uh, minor scuffing towards the back. And it has a handy slip pocket as well. It is really cute, Brianna. Batari, it is so cute. <coughs> Zip top opening. And inside, <coughs> it's also nice and clean. Includes two interior pockets. This bag only comes with its original serial sticker, no card, but we will provide you with a complimentary Luxury Promise dust bag and card. And I believe this is either, I think this is a four series, so from 94 to 96. I will just put this on so you can see for size what it looks like on me. I think in the picture, oh, the picture has just popped up. Maybe in the picture, we'll, you'll probably see the difference in the color. It's actually more navy than it is black. You can also wear this. It's a fixed chain, so it does, you cannot adjust the size. You can also wear this as a high cross, uh, crossbody as well. So you can wear this towards the front as well. And it's a, I would say this is equivalent to 10 inches and 10 inches up. This bag is now up. It is £5,500, which is US dollars It's all original condition. Uh, it has not been colour uh, color retouched. And I agree, Batari, it is because it has that zip along the top. It's great for extra, um, extra uh, security as well. And it has the original 24 karat gold gilding. And there's no tarnish or chipping towards the um, up chain as well. That's available just now. <coughs> Let's move on to some accessories actually. We have, this is beautiful. If you are a fan of cashmere pashmina style shawls, we have this one. This is actually current season. Um, and it's a really large wide shawl. It's almost a hundred meters across and a 200 meters wide So I would say you can almost use this as a home interiors blanket So if you're watching Netflix, you can definitely sl snuggle up or if you're traveling You're going to start traveling again. This makes a good airplane shawl as well. So it's Really really big. It's 70 70% cashmere 30% silk blend it's a contrasting black trim with a white and has that beautiful CC logo on the side as well. There are no pulls or uh, cannot see any thread pulls or anything like that. And we and this comes with a complimentary Chanel dust bag. Uh, I'll show you the original tags are still in place. This is a made in Italy item and I'll just put this on so. There's a really fun, gorgeous piece. So yeah. And I love the way it drapes as well. So it's a really, really fun uh, and very warm item. It's lightweight enough to, be, uh, to keep you cool in the summer, but um, also the, pish the cashmere content is high enough to keep you warm in the winter as well so i think a cashmere accessory is definitely a good uh, style um, investment <laughs> oh thank you denise i just look i look like a crazy lady with all this stuff everywhere <laughs> uh so like i said this is a current piece
I believe this currently retails for around about $1,200 or $1,500. And we're offering this for £895, which is $1,170. Also includes all your duties and taxes included. And all you need to do is pay for the shipping. So that is the first scarf and we'll provide a complimentary uh, Chanel dust bag with that one because that came with a, uh, let me just grab the dust bag so you see what dust bag it is. <clears throat> so it comes in one of these sort of dust bag with uh, perforated holes to keep your uh, item aerated. So if, well, it's getting warmer hopefully and in time for spring, we also have this beautiful shawl with camellias, camellia flowers, and um, in beautiful colours, pastel colours. Uh, it's got like a stylized camellia flower, sort of oversized, very abstract. In beautiful colours of pale pinks and blues and duck egg blues. And this is also in excellent condition see the Chanel there and this is also 70% uh, silk 70% uh, cashmere 30% silk and it has this lovely sort of fringe detailing as well it is stunning to me I think they're like work of art look at the color just beautiful this is approximately a hundred centimeters across and it's a perfect square so how I would wear it is I'll turn it into one corner to the opposite corner, so you make it into a triangle. This just makes a great, you know, you're ready to go. And it's warm enough, it's so soft, and it's warm enough uh, to keep you uh, warm in the winter and cool enough in the uh, summer as well. It is stunning and I was looking at the the way they did the ah oh, that's funny I was looking at this <clears throat> the abstract and where that where the stamens is that what you call them the little center the center bud uh, on, on flowers that it says um, cocoa on it so this is now up it's only 425 pounds it comes with a complimentary Chanel dust bag like this and uh, it's 556 US dollars. This is 70% cashmere, 30% silk, and it's available to purchase right now. All you need to do is just tap on that icon. Yes, and the colors are just so, so perfect. It's just so, so pretty. Now, if you prefer silk, maybe you want something a bit more lightweight, we have this never been worn, never been used Chanel scarf. This is gorgeous. It's light pink with a black print. <clears throat> and it says Coco Chanel just there. But what's really nice is it features the silhouette of Coco Chanel. And can you see, she's almost like sitting, sitting in the corner. And can you see the, the Chanel all sort of like chopped up looking? It's a bit abstract. And I don't know if anybody knows what this scene ref uh, is referring to it's actually referring to the famous staircase at 31 rue cambon the 1920s art deco inspired uh, staircase is all mirrored and it's actually an optical illusion so um, the way that the uh, mirror is um, sort of designed so uh, Coco Chanel can keep an eye on the reaction of her clients when she's showcasing her uh, latest collection and haute couture without being seen. So she can see out onto the audience, but they couldn't see her. And that's how she would sit at the top of her stairs, making sure that her collections were well appreciated. <laughs> and I just love the way that they interpreted that into this uh, beautiful scarf design. So this is 100% silk, 
uh, made in Italy, never been worn, never been used. It's a light, light blush pink, almost like a nude pink with a black print. And it's inscribed Coco Chanel. It's also a hundred centimeters wide, hundred centimeters that way and hundred centimeters that way as well. So it's a very large square shawl. And how you can wear it, I always do it corner to corner, opposite corner, so you turn it into a triangle. And there. I mean, there's other ways uh, if you were, I think I've seen people turn this into a little sarong style. Oh, that actually quite, looks quite nice. Sarong style bikini top or a cover up if you're going to the beach. Or you can actually turn this into a triangle and you can t use it as a headscarf as well. <laughs> yes, like a headscarf. That's right, Rachel. So let me just show the condition while the price is coming up. Ah, there it is. This is only <coughs> £395, which is 516 US dollars. And it also comes with a complimentary um, Chanel dust bag as well. 395, £395, or 516 US dollars. <coughs> so um, let's move on to, I've got a couple more bags left. Oh, let's do a cuff actually. So, all good things come in these pretty black boxes. A uh, little unboxing. And inside is gorgeous statement piece. Uh, it's a double cuff. It's actually fixed. It's a double um, cuff featuring uh, 20, uh, 24 karat gold gilding and leather interwoven tr trims. It's a, it's an open cuff, it's, so it's malleable, so you can adjust it according to to the size of your wrist. It is uh, a 23 collection, so this is from 1984, and it's the one of the first pieces from uh, Victoire de Castanet, who was the protege and also um, accessories designer under Karl Lagerfeld for Chanel, and all her pieces in the last, I'll say, even two years, has skyrocketed. Everyone, there are actually collectors who only go for Victoire de Castelnay design pieces. Uh, this is a stunning example. Uh, this, uh, as a reference, in the famous iconic picture of, um, I think it was Linda Evangelista, where she's all decked out in gold and black Chanel jewelry, and she's looking quite fierce in the corner. Um, this is one of the pieces that was on her wrist. So um, if you Google that, um, you could see that. It's actually for an ad back in 1984-85. Excellent condition, uh, no tarnish, original 24 karat gold gilding. Oh, the scarf is sold, amazing, fantastic. Let us know who bought the scarf. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Am I, am I channeling Linda Evangelista right now? I, I think I need a bit more gold and black, but um, it is beautiful. I've, I've, I have in previous years as a uh, specialist, I've come across the single one. You can buy the single version, but I, this is the first time I've come across it as a double cuff. Uh, this item also comes with its original box, uh, dust pouch as well. So com it's almost a uh, complete full set and it is gorgeous. Uh, I am a size 16 centimeter watch wrist and it fits me fine. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's in wonderful condition. It's been really well looked after. So this piece is 1,995 pounds, which is 2,610 US dollars. And it's available to purchase right now. Just tap on that icon. Seems like we have more people jumping onto the show. Please bear with me while I take a quick... Uh, it is water, not vodka. <laughs> not lemoncello either. <clears throat> if you have um, just joined the show, I am Winnie, the commercial director of Luxury Promise, and I'm also a vintage specialist. And um, this show is slightly different because this is my vintage power hour because I am day four now in my sourcing trip in Italy. So um, I wanted to showcase uh, a few um, things that are um, 
that I, that I have sourced so far, and um, and it's this during this uh, live show is the only opportunity to purchase these items. Um, can you believe I bought nearly 150 items in the last 72 hours? I shop to drop. I, I'm pretty good. <laughs> so um, so some of these uh, pieces that I've shown um, are just a sneak peek of what <laughs> I've got so far. Uh, so maybe I'll do a quick recap. Um, if you just joined, this is still available. This is a beautiful Chanel, lots of ha ha ha. <laughs> beautiful Chanel um, jacket. Comes with its original hanger, flocked hanger. This is, I would say, 1980s jacket. It's made from like a bouquet, knitted, it's knitted. So it's very forgiving in size. Could fit up to, I think originally, the, the size label's fallen off, but I think originally it would have been a size, signed 38, a EU 38. However, I'm a 12, so I'll just quickly show you how it looks on me. It fits me fine because of the stretch in the fabric. And I think a Chanel jacket is as good style investment in cost per wear as a handbag. Um, so this is a, an open collar, single breasted jacket with two pockets. And what I like about this jacket, because it, it's straight, um, it's also very long. It, it's from shoulder to hem, it is 63 centimeters. So, um, so it's a very, very, um, you know, it can cover your derriere if you, if you wanted to cover that. Um, the buttons are amazing. The buttons, I mean, when you buy Chanel jackets, it's all about the buttons. So uh, the, this uh, features the um, 24 karat gold gilded, and this is about an inch wide. They're, 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 they're that much of a statement. And it, like, um, it's showcasing the interlocking chain that is uh, made famous on the Chanel 2.55 classic flat bags. And it's all, the buttons are all original, still, and they haven't fallen off. And I just think the detail is beautiful. There are no moth holes or damage. And, and I believe this jacket is 1,995 pounds. And um, it also looks great as an open jacket as well. So, uh, and you can roll up the sleeves. It's almost like a bracelet sleeve. Uh, for those who don't know what a, a bracelet sleeve is, bracelet sleeves are three quarter length. And the idea is that you can show off your cocktail bracelets, your Cartier and your diamonds. So it, it, it leaves about a three inch gap for your wrist. So it's not full sleeve. <laughs> I wanna be you when I grow up, Brianna. So let's move on to other amazing items. <coughs> Being in Italy, <coughs> one of the <coughs> most iconic brands is Prada. This is the Prada net bag, and this is actually a current piece, but I believe it's sold out in stores. And, um, and I just love it. It's actually, uh, it's hand woven, thin straps of leather uh, and knotted to look like net, almost like a fishing net. What's nice about this one, it actually comes with its original nylon um, pouch as well. It's in excellent condition. And I just love the fact it, it's a tri-color. So you've got black, white and pink. And it has that uh, logo there as well. So this is a current piece sold out love this as well the way it's all interwoven excellent condition it has a drawstring top as well and i think for this summer if you're going to go to the beach it is the ideal summer bag <laughs> so and then It's nice and clean inside. So, yeah, it's a really, really sweet little bag. 
it is approximately i would say 15 10 12 inches down and roughly about 10 inches across so it's a good little day bag and it's super lightweight because it's sort of like interwoven net and a nylon pouch inside it's a really great <coughs> bag to pack on holiday because you can collapse this and store it away and you can you know or store it inside another bag when you need it as a spare handbag so <coughs> So let's see the comments so far. <laughs> gold Chanel crossbody. Ah, the gold Chanel crossbody bag I'll show next, Harriet. Thank you for joining. I'm just showcasing this Prada net bag. This is current season. And it has uh, is made from a leather like fine woven hand woven letter leather that has been knotted by hand and it's a tricolor with black white and pink with a nylon um drawstring uh, pouch inside which come which is designed to go together it is very cute may i just love the little interwoven hand straps as well they almost remind me of friendship braces uh when we you know when we were younger <laughs> While uh, Rachel gets a price on that piece, uh, I will. I thought so. A phone dropped in the handbag. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's coming up now. There it is. So the price of this, I think it's five hundred and ninety-five pounds. Yes, five hundred and ninety-five pounds, which is seven hundred and seventy-eight US dollars. And this is. Um, in season Prada sold out in stores and I just think has that vintage reminds me of vintage 60s 70s like um, Ibiza vibes like holiday vibes that's why I wanted to showcase it in this drop so we have some gold bags so somebody was asking you about a Chanel gold bag I've actually got two Let's see where the other one is ah, there it is We've got this beautiful little micro single um, flat bag. Um, it is really adorable. It is really tiny, uh, which makes it even more desirable. <coughs> it is approximately, I'll just get my measuring tape out. It is approximately five inches across. So it's a really tiny bag. It's designed to maybe hold a wallet and cards but what makes this incredibly rare is it's gold it's a micro size bag it's lambskin has the original 24 karat gold gilding it's also guys designed to be worn as a crossbody style bag how cute is that um it's crafted from lambskin leather with a metallic finish uh it is in good condition with a gentle signs of wear uh, the corners has shows light usage the bottom is nice and clean and it's a single flat bag please excuse my air conditioning it makes that noise uh, it comes with a dust bag and it comes with its original card as well so it comes full set with the serial sticker it's a one series from 1989 to 91 and it is lovely and clean inside Anna you could just see the serial sticker sticker there and look these little button size um little stoppers on the chain uh which inscribe cc chanel on there so um all in all i would say i read, read uh, rate this between good and very good condition considering the age of this um uh, piece yes it is very rare to see this color uh when i was doing my vintage sourcing uh, a vendor was selling exact one in red for eight thousand US dollars, and I thought, wow, they've gone up that much. So wait to see um, my price. It's a good winning price. 
it's only three thousand eight hundred pounds which is four thousand nine hundred and seventy one us dollars and um like like laurie says you must know your vintage it is so hard to come across it in gold i've seen it in black i've and i think we had a gold version of this two years ago which she sold two years ago it's only until now i was able to get one in this condition and for this price point so would it fit a pro max you can see for scale it won't um let me just show you i think you need to get a nokia size phone the little our vintage ones it is actually just five inches across so it won't fit it won't fit any mobile phone unless it's a tiny little nokia one <laughs> uh, somebody said i have an encyclopedic knowledge yeah, I just because I love bags. I, I like I like history. Um, was crossbody worn much of the way back? Yes. <coughs> I mean the two point five five. Remember, was first designed in nineteen fifties. Um, think of nineteen fifties women. Think of Jackie Onassis, Jackie Kennedy. Was she wear? Was it the style? Was she have worn of Marilyn Monroe? The women of that time, they weren't wearing crossbody style bag. It wasn't the style. It wasn't the fashion. It would have been a ladylike, a ladylike clutch, or a little handheld bag, a bit like this um, Gucci bag. This would be a, considered quite a large bag in the 1950s. So those sort of bags were not designed to be crossbody style. Uh, however, these little bags. Uh, were considered modern of its time. This is uh, from 1989 to 91, and this was designed to be worn as a crossbody style bag. So, yes, uh, Nazin, we do have another gold bag. So I'll quickly show you that. Uh, okay, give me one second. So that is the first gold bag. That is three thousand eight hundred pounds. <coughs> the next gold bag. <laughs> we have is this beautiful gold bag and um this actually came from the same collector who who loved gold bags as you can see she, she had a theme uh a small this slightly bigger this is i would say equivalent to a seven inch bag so seven inches no six inches so that is six inches across and four inches high so in terms of fitting a phone it probably won't fit an iphone iphone 10 so it's more like an uh, the uh, earlier models because it's still quite a narrow bag um it is also crafted from uh, gold lambskin leather it's in great condition considering the age and design and this is also a super rare bag we had one in purple suede uh probably end of last year um, what's nice about this bag is actually designed with a detachable strap. Can you see the loft of clasp? So you can actually remove the strap and you can use this as a miniature, like a clutch style bag. And it has that beautiful tassel as well. You can wear this as a crossbody style. It's a high cross. Or you can wear this as a shoulder bag. I'll just show you the condition. It's in great condition. It's not being recolored or re-dyed or retouched. And it has that CC logo applique on. Applique means um, like almost like a 3D effect. So you cut one leather and, a, and attached on top of a surface. So it's almost like a, a raised surface service there it's three thousand eight hundred pounds or four thousand nine hundred seventy one us dollars comes with its dust bag only this is a one series from um one series from 1989 to 91 and it has a lovely clean condition as well so two, two of the gold bags are now up and available to purchase uh let's move on to we have a lovely bag. We also have the Granville bag. Uh, any wallets? We don't have. I don't have any wallets with me today, uh, Batari, because this is just a, a little twenty-piece power hour session. But keep an eye on future shows this week. 
where um, things that I have sourced so far will appear in those drops. So this is a lovely bag. This is the um, the classic Granville, Dior Granville bag. And it's basically based on the Lady Dior, but this is a much more relaxed to look. It's almost like a shopper tote. I, I love the color. It's like the beautiful gray color. Um, it has that embossed, this isn't actually quilted. This is embossed uh, canage print and has silver hardware with the Lady Dior logo on the side. And you can um, you can open up the sides, or you can collapse it in if you want to sort of um, uh, sh uh, reduce the the width of the bag. It's a magnetic closure bag, and inside it is nice and clean. It does not come with its strap, but I just thought this is a great little everyday work bag. You could probably fit an iPad, <coughs> phone, <coughs> and wallet, but not a uh, laptop. And I just love the fact it's a soft structure. If if you could actually reach out and touch this bag, um, it, it's so so soft. This uh, this uh, grey Granville bag, and um, it it has it is a pre -lo uh, pre loved item has just gentle wear along the corners and the bottom of the bag. But overall, the main body is nice and clean. The hardware is excellent. And, oh, Priya Jo says she's got this in black and she'll never sell it because it's such a good bag. That's good. And this is only 795 pounds, which is 1,040 US dollars. Uh, just want to show there is some light wear to the handles, but apart from that, it's a really good, everyday bag <coughs> we have a couple more bags left we also have this gorgeous uh, Louis Vuitton model and um, comes with its dust bag and this is a Louis Vuitton satin uh, a miniature clutch style bag with uh, the Empriente design. This is all like embroidered and it says, uh, oh, can you see a bit of shine there? Yeah. Uh, Louis Vuitton Paris and this is in excellent condition. And it's so lovely because you open it up, it's like a little lock, pop lock closure. You open it up, gold leather lined inside and comes with this little booklet, care booklet little card there and it comes with a collapsible chain strap so you can wear this strap like a crossbody style bag or you can tuck in the strap and use it as a handheld uh, miniature and um, it is so so stunning um, I just thought it's such a pretty piece just love the little LV, the logo, all embroidered like that. And it says um, Louis Vuitton Paris there as well. And this is in excellent condition. Uh, le gold leather lined, has a little slip pocket inside. It is very elegant, Rachel. Would it fit a phone? Um, maybe. Let me just measure it, Roxana. It is about six inches across. So depending on the size of your phone, definitely an iPhone 8, <coughs> uh, iPhone 10 should work, but probably beyond a 12 or 13 might be a bit difficult. <coughs> so lovely and clean and the chain strap is also excellent. Can you see how wonderful the chain is? has a generous drop so you could definitely wear this as a crossbody style bag uh, the 13 mini will definitely uh, probably fit according to Heather Gloucester thank you for that feedback I'll just show one more time so I'll give you um, unfortunately I don't have a phone you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do paper cutouts on my next show of an example of a phone measurement that's what I'm gonna do for my next show 
So the bag is £995, which is 1,301 US dollars. So one more time, it's six inches across and three inches high. So I'm not too sure how big the Pro 13 small is. So uh, hopefully it will <laughs> uh, it will uh, fit a phone. So yeah. All right. Let me do one other item. Actually, totally forgot about this piece. Uh, so there's the satin clutch bag by Louis Vuitton is available just there to purchase. Um, Another, this is the final bit of clothing uh, that I bought, vintage clothing. This is a vintage YSL jacket. It's a two piece suit from the uh, 80s and it is stunning with these beautiful Romanesque style coin um, buttons. And it comes with its matching skirt. So this is the matching skirt with two sort of box pleats on the side and it's like a, it, the length is just above the knee, uh, but what I like about this is actually beautifully fitted. Uh, it's made from virgin wool, so it's really, really soft, and it's fully lined as well. Let me just take the necklace off. And um, has these almost like bl blouse on, blues on sleeves, balloon sleeves. Uh, and it's really flattering this shape because it's fitted. You can wear it open, but I'm just buttoning it up for you to see. I am five foot uh, three and a half, almost four, with uh, I'm a size uh, UK 12. And I actually, when I tried it on, I think it's really uh, flattering on the way it's fitted without feeling too much like a corset. And I, cause it's, because of the bl uh, blouse on, blues on, I think that's how you say it, uh, sleeves, you can actually ruche it up. And it's a really cool fitted uh, navy blue with gold buttons from Yves Saint Laurent, vintage. And that's the matching skirt with it as well. So, um, does it have, these are mock pockets, so it doesn't actually have pockets, but I think the way it's nipped in at the waist, is actually very, very flattering on. From shoulder to hem, it is roughly uh, about 63 centimeters long. So it does cover the bottom, but the way it's cut very close to the waist, is actually very flattering. It's given me a waist definition, which I didn't think I had and the buttons are in excellent condition. Just wanna, so you can see the... It's almost got like a Romanesque coin design. There you go. So this two-piece suit, which is a, a size EU42, is 395 pounds or 516 US dollars. Yeah, it's really, really nice on Helen. Oh, hello, Helen. Good to see you on. Um, and um, where can you buy a two-piece suit for less than four, designer two-piece suit for less than 400 pounds nowadays? You can't, this is beautifully made. Yeah, it's virgin wool, you can see the wool sign there. Uh, and, you, and also it looks nice loose as well. So, you know, you know, you can wear this separately with t-shirts and jeans. So uh, you can't go wrong with a classic suit. So in terms of sizing, it could fit up to a, I'm a UK 12, so this would definitely fit a 10, 12, which is equivalent to a six and eight in US sizing. Yeah, very, very versatile. I just wanna show the label. That's YSL. <coughs> then, <coughs> right, my last bag of this evening. I've left the best to last. One of the rarest bags I've come a hold of. I 
Laurie is asked, can I please get some insight from you, Winnie? What are the reasonably prices for vintage Chanel belts nowadays? Thank you. Well, it depends on if you're after a leather belt or a chain belt. But if you're after a vintage Chanel, like gold chain belt, they are going up every day. So a really cool one in terms of 90s that you want to look like Claudia Schiffer or uh, Cin uh, Cindy Crawford days, you're looking to spend between anything between uh, two, one and a half thousand pounds uh, to three thousand pounds if you want it to say Chanel. So those ones that says Chanel, the letter saying Chanel, they could go up to 5k because they're just so hard to get a hold of. But as a starter option, and we do have them on our website, if you um, do a quick search on our website, we do have some basic gold chain belts, which is about 92 centimeters long, which is like a one size fits all. And what's nice about those chain belts, they're great as a waist belt, or you can wear them as necklaces as well. So, you, you know, you've got two ways. And we can, um, I think we, we sell a very sort of like a simple gold chain with a gold medallion from around about a thousand pounds. So if you're looking to buy vintage Chanel, uh, entry level, definitely a thousand pounds, you might be able to get something. I hope that helps. So this has one, all the rare components that makes this a rare bag. First one is raffia, right? Anything straw-like raffia, think Hermes picnic, Chanel picnic, anything picnic or raffia always doubles the price. Number two, this is a 10 inch medium classic flap. And um, remember, we haven't showcased a medium classic flap on our show for a long time. And number three, it has silver hardware. You know, often when it comes to vintage, we should show a lot of gold hardware. So it's like three things uh, all in one. Um, could we see the pastel? Let me, uh, Rachel, could you let me know if the pastel scarf is shot sold or not? Because I did see something go through. But um, just let me know. Ah, I think it has sold. Sorry, rookie. So this is gorgeous. Um, it's actually like hand laid strands of raffia individual straws and it's held together by um stitching this black quilting over across the matelasse quilting then it has lambskin trim leather trim and it has a brushed matte silver hardware and this is incredible condition this is a five series so it's from 97 to 99 so we're talking about late 90s and this is a single flat bag and i just think this is absolutely stunning imagine hand laying all that straw it is incredible so single flat bag with the black interior lining it comes with its uh original dust bag Serial sticker is intact, no card, but excellent condition inside. And um, this bag, you can wear it as a crossbody style bag. So it is absolutely gorgeous. Just love it. Isn't it beautiful? I've just never seen a bag like this before. And I just think, has it sold? Oh my gosh. That is incredible. Oh, that is so good. You know, I was taking a chance on this bag because it was quite an expensive bag, but I just knew it was just so unusual. Please let us know who bought this. And can I borrow it? Could I actually study it? I might write an essay on this bag. I just thought it's so amazing. Lou's asking, uh, looking for a navy medium vintage classic flat bag and wondering how much this would cost today. If you are after a vintage one, uh, you are looking at definitely closer to the 5k mark now. So for between four and a half to five thousand pounds. And to buy a, a brand new version at the store if they do do it, I think isn't it close to six, uh, seven, like six, six thousand eight hundred and something pounds. So whenever brands do price increases, it will flick, flicker down into, trickle down into the secondary market. 
I'll just tell you that. It will happen. So, yeah. Uh, how do I buy what you've put up on the live today? So, Latty, all you need to do is just tap on the icon. It's as easy as that. Tap on the icon. It will take you to the page. You can read the information. There are some extra images. And all you need to do is just add to cart. That's it. Uh, we do ship world, worldwide. We ship to the UK for £10, Europe £15, and overseas at £35. And we all take all major forms of credit card and uh, debit cards, as well as PayPal, as well as Split It. Split It is our, um, our payment plan um, company that we use. It's only specifically for credit cards. And you can sp split your payments uh, into three, six, nine, 12 months, interest-free. So you can make those luxury purchases a bit more um, easy to manage and more affordable <laughs> there you go well it looks like this is sold i don't know why i'm showing that still I just i might have to look at this bag again so let me just do a quick recap what is still available um i believe <coughs> prada beaded i hope that's still available i haven't been keeping an eye uh, <coughs> <coughs> duties are paid for yes during the light, uh, duration of this show, uh, Katassi. I'm so, I do apologize for my uh, sore throat. So I sound like an um, old, old lady. This is 495 pounds and it has that beautiful Prada beading all across. <coughs> uh, this has sold, this has sold. Uh, we also have this beautiful it's vintage and warm but the original first generation of the bamboo top handle bag this is from 1950s and this is i believe it's 495 pounds uh, we also have this oblique vintage dior clutch bag uh, this is only £395 from the 1970s, in great condition. And definitely will fit an iPhone Pro Max 13. So that's a good uh, oversized day clutch. Uh, we also have this fun little wristlet, uh, Tom Ford era. Cusp of Tom Ford to uh, Frida forget her surname it was the designer before uh, Michaela uh, who's just joined so uh, so this is probably mid 2000 uh, this is only 250 pounds a little wristlet cuchisima bag definitely would fit an iPhone Pro Max as well and I think it's a really good um, if you need to pop down to the shops or you're grabbing coffee with a friend and you just need your essentials this is a great alternative and this is only 200 and 50 pounds uh, we also have this beautiful Louis Vuitton miniature this satin miniature with this beautiful empiente design uh, with a pop lock closure comes with a dust bag in excellent condition also has a built-in shoulder um, chain strap so you can wear this as a crossbody style bag if you wish or you can tuck it in and use it as a miniature and this is 995 pounds we also have this beautiful um, vintage Chanel backpack. This is a uh, crafted from navy lambskin leather, and this is five five thousand five hundred and uh, five thousand five hundred pounds. And we also have this beautiful i think this is still available a gucci 1950s 1960s beauty travel case this is only 650 pounds uh, you can use it for travel that's what it's intended for or i think it actually looks very beautiful as a decorative home interiors item as well and you can actually use it to store items inside and it's deep, deep enough and high enough to actually store 200 ml bottles so Six hundred and fifty pounds. I believe all the scarves are sold. Or oh, maybe not. Maybe this scarf is still available. 
we've got this cashmere scarf <coughs> which is um i think 895 uh 70 cashmere 30 percent silk <coughs> we also have a granville dior bag this is 795 and that's still available and we also have two vintage chanel gold bags and these are three thousand eight hundred pounds each and they're still available um, if i'm going too fast there is a handbag icon just below you could just click on that handbag icon and it will you'll be able to see what is still available uh, in terms of jewelry we've got this beautiful wax seal collection 23 um, chanel um, a bracelet and this is 1995 in excellent condition uh, the story is that the um, wax seal plays homage to uh, Chanel when um, she would actually write her personal letters her co personal correspondence and she'll actually put her own seal on the letters and that's available to purchase that's 1995 we also have this um, large oversized brooch I believe this is £725, and that's still available. We also have this beautiful oversized cuff, and this is £1995. It comes with its original box and dust bag. We also have this beautiful statement Chanel necklace, and this is £1,895. Oh yes, sure. Let me try on the bracelet for you. So, Katassi, we now actually pay for your customs and duties because uh, I know you're from North America. So, uh, there's no extra uh, charges on top. Oops. Hope that... I'm a size 16 centimetre wrist uh, in, when it comes to watches. And this is in wonderful, excellent condition. And it's uh, gilded in 24 karat gold gilding. Hope that helps. Uh, we also have this Chanel letter charm. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, bourbon and hot tea. Oh, okay, I'm going to give that a try as well. Thank you, Shirley from Texas. Um, I can't remember the price of this one, but I just want to show you the Chanel. There we go there. And finally, when it we have this beautiful Sautoir 2020 collection. Uh, glass faux pearls and it actually the pearls actually spell out Chanel which makes this fun and I think this is one seven nine five or one eight nine five I can't quite remember it is insanely beautiful let me just and I'll just put that on for size so you can see now do you guys want to see a sneak peek of what other things I've got just wait for you guys to give me a quick vote i've got i've, I've put a, aside about five items that i can't wait to show you in my future shows so if you want to have a, a quick uh because you guys have stayed on to the end um i'll let you have a quick sneak peek yes oh quite a few yeses all right let's do it okay right being in italy i had to get this this is the Fendi, the Fendi nylon pasta bag in the Italian colours. <laughs> Red, green, I think it even has the blue in it. I know, isn't it mad? This is nylon. Oh my gosh. And look, it's got fusilli, macaroni. <coughs> it is so cute. So this is a 1970s Fendi. <coughs> We also have something incredibly rare. Chanel bandana bag. This is so rare, so hard to find. 
Isn't that incredible? And you know what? I, I had a quick um, sh uh, comp shopping. Comp shopping is where as uh, we do as a buyer, as well as I used to be a designer, where you just look around competitively what the other designers are doing. And there's a store here, a very cool store, I forget the name. And they had this whole section, and I can't remember the designer, who did, all, who is basically based a designer all on this bandana design. So bandana is coming back this summer. So this is a Chanel bandana bag. Right, really, really rare. And I showed this to Sabrina. She almost peed herself. The Chanel picnic bag. How incredible is this bag? I see. We have in the past uh, done the the shopper tote, but never, never, never have we come across the backpack. This is amazing. And this will be part of a future live show. Isn't that just gorgeous? That is just so much fun. And for those who love vintage and colours, look at this beautiful soft lilac grey Chanel bag. The colour is beautiful. It's just absolutely stunning. It's almost like a very soft lilac grey. It's a drawstring style bag. It's a one series from 89 to 91, and you can wear it as a crossbody style bag. So, and it's in excellent condition. I just think that is just so pretty. Another amazing, I, I've, I've come across this print, but I've never come across this bag. <laughs> it's the pasta bag, yeah. What was the pasta bag? Okay, sure. I'll quickly show you, Abby. It is pasta bag, but in Italian flag colours. Can you imagine how patriotic? In red, green. I don't know if it has the blue in the Italian flag, but and it shows fusilli, macaroni, penne. Oh, it is gorgeous. Oh, the wax. Oh, the brooch sold. Oh, amazing. I might have to, can I just wear it to the end of the show? Because it's actually so nice to have this on. <laughs> uh, right. I've come across this print before, but never this bag. It is the supermodel bag. For those who understand what we, you know, the, the, the giant travel bag that we've had previously. But in canvas. Isn't that incredible? With the large CC logo. Oh, it's gorgeous. This is amazing in the navy blue and white design. And you can wear this as a crossbody style. This is actually designed to be a beach bag. Isn't that, oh, I just absolutely love it. And then, although it's not vintage, but I always love uh, when YSL do miniatures. And this is a, a heart-shaped YSL bag, clutch bag, which often fly out. And we haven't had one of these in a while. This is actually a, a current season or past season, excellent condition. And this will be coming on our website soon. So thank you so much for watching the show. Uh, that was just a sneak peek. Remember, I bought over 150 items, um, which will be hitting our, uh, in my live shows very, very soon. Uh, oh, you have the bandana bag. Oh, amazing. You know how collectible they are. I had a client ask me, and I've been, it's taken a year to, to find one of these bags. So keep your eyes peeled for all those amazing vintage finds. We will, uh, me and Sabrina will be doing a co-host fairly soon. Grazie mille. Thank you. Uh, bon, uh, uh, buenos, oh, how do you say good evening? Bon, buonasera? I can't quite remember. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining and you have made my evening. It's so nice because uh, I've not spoken to anybody in the last three days uh, in English, kind of. <laughs> and thank you, Rachel, for moderating. And um, and thank you for those who, put, who, who bought some items. I'm glad uh, you guys were able to join. Buena sera. That's it. Buena sera. And thank you again. And um, 
we'll see you soon uh, i think tomorrow we have our international women's day zoom invite if you are one of the lucky ones who are able to join the show i'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m on our zoom live otherwise i'll see you in a future show coming soon thank you very much everyone good night